Welcome aboard here at Northern Viking Explorer. If you're new here, my name is Ken. I'm Andrea. And today we're going to be reviewing the entertainment and activities that we experienced on the Carnival Vista cruise ship. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So let's chat about the entertainment and activities on the Carnival Vista. I'm going to let you take this away, Andrea. Well, I really love all the activities they have planned on the Carnival Vista. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if we call them activities, but they're the, the, the high ropes. Oh, kind of, yeah, that, that kind of activity. Yeah, like yeah, they're like the, like... the things you can just go do. The I don't structures. Know. Yeah, the, the like structures. Play, play. Yeah, so there's high ropes. There's the sky ride, which is like a bicycle on a track, like a bike crossed with a roller coaster way up high over mm -hmm. the ocean i enjoy that that was fun yeah um they have mini golf mm -hmm. uh there's uh the beanbag the, toss there's ping pong i believe there is some foosball tables around the ship and a lot of that is all in one area which is super convenient and fun the basketball courts the workout equipment yeah. outside so there's a there's a lot of that stuff i have all that on here as well um cornhole Fun stuff. It's, it's really like a fun, fun for all ages out there. Like yeah. it, it's a really fun, fun things to do. I really enjoy the high ropes. Yeah. A no. little scary, a little scary, but I enjoyed it. I, that's one of my favorite things to do on carnival ships is the high ropes. It made my heart beat, a little <laughs> sweaty, a little nervous, wondering what I had gotten myself into, but it was fun. Yeah. Um, we didn't use this this time. I usually try to go down the water slides, but the Carnival Water Works. It was a lot of water slides. Um, it's great for the kids and even the adults for the, mm -hmm. especially the water slides. But they've got, they've got the kids water park area. And then kind of above that is, I think there's, I want to say three water slides. Um, but. At least two. Yeah. I think there are two or three, um, water slides. Mm -hmm. So it's a really cool and large area on the ship. So, um, that's really neat and high quality. It's not chintzy like it's kids Good. kids are excited to go yeah. there so um and it, they've got some really cool stuff as well for the kids so like a decent size arcade on the ship mm -hmm. um not complimentary but it is it is there and they it do. is with your room key though <laughs> <laughs> well no it's not <laughs> um yeah just some really fun stuff on the ship hey an imax theater at sea with an really good theater like real theater seats mm -hmm. at reasonable prices yeah. i was really surprised yeah so i think we saw one show in there we saw kind of the imax type show so it wasn't a movie i want to say it was eight or nine dollars which i thought was reasonable for that i think it was mm -hmm. 45 minutes long narrated by i think robert redford or something like that it was a beautiful theater yeah. though yeah. it was I was impressed. Yeah. So was it Robert Redford? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, it was it was really good. And the kind of more, the movies, like box office type movies, were a fair bit more. I think, I want to say $16 or $18. Um, but I had very low expectations of the theater. We weren't actually going to go there until our day in um, Mahogany. Mahogany Bay was canceled, so then we decided to go to the IMAX instead, and I was blown away. It was huge. It was huge on it the show. It was really nice. And it was just really nice, and it was 3D. It was awesome. So um, I thought that was well worth it. It was fun. It was mm -hmm. a fun, you know, sometimes plans change, and yeah. it was a fun alternative mm -hmm. thing. I really like the uh, movies under the stars. They do that on the main deck there, watching mm -hmm. movies. Um, yeah, just... The walking track, I don't know if we mentioned that, um, but really nice up there as well by the, kind of around by the mini golf. What about the dancing lessons? I, you know what? I have this on here. But did you dance? No, I have this on here as line dancing on here. Oh, okay. You enjoyed it. Yeah. You, yeah. you really enjoyed your line dancing lessons. <laughs> yeah. you, she enjoys that kind of stuff more than I do. But they did have some really fun parties as well. Carnival has the best parties I have seen at sea. Mm -hmm. They do the best sail away parties. Yeah. Um, I have never seen um, a Lido deck so packed out with people. 
Cargill yeah. in general. Yeah. So you can expect that on the Vista. Yes. Um, some fun parties in there. I can't name them. I don't know them all off the top of my head, mm -hmm. but the 80s Rock and Glow party. They had this silent night party where you wear the headphones and so it's dead quiet, but mm -hmm. you're listening to the music and dancing. Um, there was a whole bunch of them. It was fun. Yeah. Um, and Sail Away is always big. Sail Away is huge. The Sail Away mm -hmm. party. Yeah. Uh, we don't, we try not to miss that. Um, other stuff? Um, a fun event that they held in their liquid lounge, so their theater type room, is Deal or No Deal, mm -hmm. the game show, and that's fun to watch. We didn't participate in buying the cards where we could win, but it was fun to watch. Yeah, so you can just go in and watch, or you can participate, and you could be the lucky one that ends up on stage, so if you, if you buy the card and you get picked, so... Um, and you can win some. Or you can play along. Even yeah. the whole audience who had the tickets can mm -hmm. play along. One thing I want to say, the co the comedy on the ship was really good. It was good. That's going to um, change week to week, though, uh, well, but it was good. I would say um, it was better than our than other ships we've been on. It was good. Yeah. 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 Um, and I do want to... I, there's so much we could talk about. There's so much entertainment. Um, Playlist Productions, there were some really good shows in the Liquid Lounge. Um, a couple of note um, that I liked. Amor Cubano. Uh, oh, that was fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then there was Studio VIP, and that was like a 70s in New York theme. Um, and America Rocks, kind of rock music. So there, um, Playlist Productions, there were some really good ones. And I think Every Night had some sort of show, whether it was deal or no deal or like a show going on one night was the vista house band which was phenomenal so uh, yeah i think it's the vista rock band and they did yeah. i have this written down it's called one night only yeah yeah and, but they were they played though throughout the week in different venues mm -hmm. and they were really good and yeah. so that was fun to listen to yeah and they did a lot of like classic rock and um, the vocals were really good in that. I, I that was that. that was really good. So lots of shows and entertainment throughout the week. Excellent. I didn't feel bored. Um, no. like, There's so much to do. And yeah, you know, I look at the fun times, and you really have to just prioritize what's really important that you really want to see and do, mm -hmm. because it's not possible to make it to everything. Yeah. And even okay, this is small, but I entered a draw. And there was something else going on at the same time. So I couldn't go find out if I won or not. No. Because to me, it was more important to uh, join in on the activity than to wait for the draw. So mm -hmm. you just you just can't fit can't it all in. It. So yeah. you just have to be okay with knowing. Yeah. You, there's so much to do. You can't do it all. And yeah. so pick what's important and do those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do have a couple of small wishes, though. Okay. Um, one is the venue that they do the comedy in. Um, isn't big enough. That's true. Um, there's just too many people that, that want to get in there. So I think, mm -hmm. um, if there was a way to have a bigger venue for that, I don't, it maybe doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Um, which is fine. It, it is what it is. But the other one, and I'm surprised you didn't say this, but you know what? It might've fallen under kind of a food and beverage item as well, is when we went to the IMAX theater... And we ordered beverages. You didn't get a lid. Yes. And you know what? I hate <laughs> to complain about this because I, I understand they're trying to reduce mm -hmm. plastic. But... Um, they don't. They didn't have lids. They, like, they don't they have don't, lids. So they don't offer them. You're given a, just a cup open. Full almost to the top. Full. Tunnel. And you're having to walk upstairs. Yeah. In potentially rougher seas. <laughs> Without a lid, and I'm not always the most coordinated, so... And the lights are on, but it's still kind of a theater on the darker side, and it's... I, I did yeah. feel, like, very aware that I was holding a very full cup walking mm -hmm. around, and I wanted to make sure I didn't spill on anybody, yeah. so... Yeah, so, because it wasn't, it wasn't, like, a glass cup, it was a paper cup. Yeah, well, so you could just... Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. if it would have been glass, it would have been better, but being, like, a paper cup... Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's it's small, but it made me just kind of add that little bit of stress, especially like mm -hmm. if you were. Can, can you imagine you've 
taking all your kids on a cruise and they're all running around with a pop with no lid, I would have been really stressed out. So it was yeah. a bit bad enough just handling my own drinks. <laughs> <laughs> so other than that, I, I mean, the, I don't really have any big wishes. It was just awesome on there. Right. And yeah. I really enjoyed the entertainment and activities on the Carnival Vista. It was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm.